Uh, welcome guys to Gina Electronics here. I have a today I have a circuit here, a transformer, transformerless uh, power supply, AC to DC. Um, here's the schematic, and here is um, the circuit I built. I built this from uh, recycled materials, and uh, I. I covered this the surface with the hot glue for for protection since I'm working with the AC uh, voltage so it can be lethal for your it can be harmful so I, I cover with the hot glue um, and I'm gonna walk you through show you how it's working I'll explain the best way I can. Uh, here the um, AC coming coming here AC coming here which will be here and we have a switch switch is located here then we have a fuse that's over here and then we have a, a mover this, this blue one a mover that are used for safety for help to keep a uh, a certain level of voltage example this is 250 volt and uh, it makes sure a uh, power does not exceed more than 250 volt and now then we have uh, this one here and then is a um, uh, accelerated uh, capacitor uh, about can handle up to 400, 400, 400 volt AC uh, let's make sure uh, made, uh, made to work with uh, high voltage and then we have uh, here this uh, bridge rectify this this one it's for diodes but you can replace this one with the other type of uh, bridge rectifier like this it's also type of a bridge rectify now after here I have uh, this one, uh, this capacitor, this this one, the smooth uh, the DC, and then I have a Zener diode to break down all the way to nine volt of DC volt. Uh, without a Zener diode, I get about thirty four vo uh, volt a DC, and then you have a LD indicating that's what I find here, and I left two uh, pins for the Zener diode. This this one and this over here. I'm gonna hook up this thing to the power and then show you as well. Okay. There, it is working. You can see it. Blue lead getting everything's okay I'm gonna put, hook up a meter to measure the voltage and there you have it and uh, the reading is here 34 uh, volt DC. Uh, but this is too much to power for, uh, to power small gadgets, small electronics. We need uh, to break this down all the way to nine volt or five volts to be able to power different circuits. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna uh, put a, a Zener diode to the left pin that I showed you. Uh, here we have a nine volt Zener diode. 9 volt, I'm going to connect it here and as soon as I connect it, my reading is all the way and now to 9 volt as you see and this is ok also to power some different gadgets uh, but you can also go all the way to 5 volt you see uh, this 5 volt is in a diet. Uh, you can see it's more than uh. 
Oops, uh, this one is can damage. Uh, don't need this one. Let me take another one. So five, uh, five zero uh, damage. And yeah, this one works. This, this works. And then you can see your 5 volt on DC. This uh, shift uh, to be to power different gadgets, small ones. You don't need much uh, currents. Uh, I'm gonna show you. Here I have a circuit, another circuit. Is there any 5 volt timer chip I built? Uh, just a timer. LD Glory. Um, I'm gonna hook it up and show you the. As you can show that it is actually this circuit is able to power uh, a small gadget. And you can see it's blinking, and I can uh, increase the speed. Anyway, I just want to show you that it's, it got this uh, transformerless power supply can power small gadgets, small that need small voltage. So here yeah, I'm using five volt DC, and we'll be able to power this circuit, and uh, many more that I can uh, power. It. I'm gonna uh, put build this circuit in a power uh, club switch. Yeah. So I'm gonna uh, all this. I have to make. An, I'm gonna make another one. That I'm gonna um, mount everything here. And then the other side is a draw line. One side is a power supply, and the other side is a clock switch. But uh, that I'll shoot the next video. I hope you enjoyed. See ya.